were there any obstacles along the way and how did you handle those uh, obstacles? Yeah, it was difficult. I mean, you know, as I said a little bit earlier, I think one of the most challenging things for myself and other other big time recruits and big time college players is when things go well for so long. And again, everyone tells you how good you are and every, every media person is talking about you and you get told by every coach and recruiting that you're amazing. It's hard not to listen to that. And you get really, really high. You start thinking like, I'm the man I'm going to be, I mean, I remember after my freshman year at Penn state, I was a, fr- I was a freshman all American thinking like literally like, Oh, I'm three and out. Like I'm, I'm going to the league. I'm going to be 20 years old in the NFL. Like I'm out. And like talking to agents and like figuring it all out. But the problem is when you listen to it, when it's really, really good, when it starts to go bad, you listen to it as well, instead of just not listening to anything. So for me, you know, things were really good. Everyone was telling you how great you are. And then as soon as I get hurt, uh, and especially I got hurt two seasons in a row, missed two years in a row at Penn State. I mean, the media wasn't talking well about me anymore. Your teammates don't think you're that good anymore. You feel like a waste of a scholarship. You have to, you know, it's really challenging. And unless you have some really good, some really built up self-confidence and uh, an identity that isn't, isn't relying on other people telling you how great you are, it can be challenging, especially when you're young. And it challenged me. I mean, two years I was at Penn State when I was hurt and not playing were two of the hardest years of my life. Like I, I was, I felt worthless. I felt like I wasn't valued on the, valued on the team. Uh, I felt like I was a waste of a scholarship, even though that's not how I should have felt, you know, like I, I still had my purpose and I still, the players still love me. Coaches still wanted me around like, and I was going to come back and play, but it's hard because again, you listen to it when it's good. Then you also l- listen when it's bad and it creates this roller coaster of up and down emotions. So for me, it was tough that I ended up walking away from football after two, after three seasons at Penn state, I, I played my freshman year was had a great season, missed two in a row. And I, I thought I was done playing football. I left and got my degree from Penn State and said, I'm done playing. And then a few months after that, my knee started to feel better. And that's when I transferred to UMass. 